In this video, we will look at revision exercise 7 of integration. You will find this on page 360 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. So in the first video, I'm going to divide it again into two parts. I will just do number 1 and 2. And in the next video, I will do number 3 and number 4. Again, you can stop the video and try to do it on your own. And as soon as you are finished, you can continue the video. Okay, let's start number 1a. Find, and then it's x plus 1 over x, and it's square, and it's dx. Now, first, you're going to multiply. Remember, it's two terms, so it's either the long way, and, and in this case, I would say, it's better just to do it here on the side. Say, x plus 1 over x, and rather write it out in the long way. Then you're not going to make mistakes. So, x times x is x squared. Okay, and then this times this, it's x over x, so it's 1. This times this, x over x, it's also 1. And this is 1 over x squared. So when I rewrite it now, still I didn't, I'm going to say x squared plus that 1 and 1, it's 2. And I'm getting it ready for integration by taking this x squared up. And then it's x negative 2. And then it's going to be 2 dx. Okay. And now I'm going to start. Remember, it's indefinite, so remember your plus c. So this is going to be x3 over 3. I add 1. This is going to get an x. This is going to be negative 2 plus 1, so it's negative 1. And I divide by negative 1, and I add c. So it's going to be x3 over 3 plus 2x minus 1 over x plus c. And that will be my final answer. Okay, let's look at number b. Now number b is having two parts. So it's saying you're first going to do it indefinite integration and then you do the same but they make it then after that they make it definite. Okay, so if I'm going to look at this one, it's going, okay, now let's start with the indefinite. So it's going to be 2 over and then it's um, root 5x minus 6. Okay, so again, let's get it ready. So uh, we're going to say 2. And if we bring it up, it's 5x minus 6. And then it's going to be negative a half. Okay. And then I'm going to integrate still 2x. If I do this, remember that rule where it's 1 over a. And this is my value of a. So it's 2 over 1, that's just a constant. Multiply 1 over a, no, it's not a, it's 5. <laughs> okay, and then my bracket, so it's, um, I just, I'll just do, make it a bit smaller. So it's going to be 5x minus 6. Now, if you're going to say it's negative a half plus 1 or plus 2 over 2, it's a half. Or you have a positive half. So it's positive a half and I still divided by that positive a half. Okay, and now it's still plus c because it's open. So now it's going to be that, and I'm, again I'm going to do it here on the side, it's that 2 over 5, multiply that reciprocal, 2 over 1. Okay, so it's going to be 4 over 5. So just make sure that you get that simplifying correct. And then you can take back to the root, 5x minus 6, because it's on top, because it's a positive of plus c. And that's going to be your first part. Now, usually they could have made it i and i, i, but they did not. So don't stop there. Now, hinge, find the value. So now they go and they say, okay, we're going to go a little bit further. I'm going to just change my color. Um, and then it's going to be 3 and 2. And it's still the same. But I know already, and I can go directly into this step. I, can, I know already that it's going to be 4 over 5. And then it's 5x minus 6. Okay, and because it's definite, I don't have to write the plus c minus c. It will cancel out. 3 and 2. And now I can continue. Okay. 
and I can say it's 4 over 5, okay, and then I'm going to just, I can put it in the root, I think it will work in the root. So it's 5, and then it's 3 minus 6, okay, that's for the first one, okay, and then the second one, it's also 4 over 5, and then it's 5, 2, minus 6. Okay, and then it's 4 over 5, and it's 15 minus 6, so it's the square root of 9. This is 4 over 5, and this is going to be 10 minus 6, it's 4. So it's going to be actually very easy now. It's 4 over 5, 3 minus, <laughs> I'm doing it long. Okay, two. you could actually say it's 1, 4 over 5, but if you really want... You can say, okay, this is going to be 12 over 5 minus 8 over 5, but that's also going to give you just the 4 over 5. And that, um, let's just go and see, it's just definite. Is, is it just, this just find the value. So it's going to be just 4 over 5. And that was number um, 1. Let's go to number 2. Just going to make space. Okay. okay, let's just go. Okay. Okay, let's start with number two. A curve is such that dy, so this is the integrated formula, and that's going to be 8 over 5 minus 2x, and that's square. Given the curve pass through the point 2 and 7, find the equation. So I'm going to integrate, to find that y, I'm going to integrate that. Okay, so let's just get it ready. 5 minus 2x and make it negative 2. And I'm going to integrate still 2x. Okay. Now remember, what is my value of a now? Do you see there? Okay. So it's going to be 8. Are you with me? Okay. Multiply 1 over negative 2. And then it's going to be... Oh, I want like making that bracket a little bit smaller. So it's 5 minus 2x. So negative 2 plus 1, that's negative 1, and I must divide by that negative 1. Okay, and then it's going to be plus c, because it's indefinite. Okay, so be careful, that negative and negative is going to be positive, but a divide 2, that's just going to be 4. And then because this is negative, I must take it down again. Okay, and then plus c. And now I'm going to substitute uh, the point 2 and 7. Okay. And then I'm just going to get, okay, so if I substitute, so I'm going to, in the place of y, remember this is x, this is y. So in the place of y, I put a 7. And then in the place of x, I put a 2. And I just simplify this. Actually very, very easy. 7, um, what will I do now? Okay, let's just simplify. So it's 4. 5 minus 4, it's just going to be 1. Do you see that? So the value of c is 7 minus 4. So therefore, the value of c, which is good. Therefore, the value of c is 3, but don't stop there. Go to the question. They say, find the equation of the curves. You have to end by saying, therefore, y is equal to 4 over 5 minus 2x. I'm, I'm working with this equation plus 3. And that is how you must end.